Hello. Hello. What's going on? What's good? How are ya? Hope all is a freaking well. We're here. We're back. And we are trying to scour the earth to get the necessary, necessary resources that we need so bad. We need it so, so freaking bad. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yes, what were we doing? That's right. We were getting ready to make our very first beacon, but we just need a few more blocks. So we're waiting uh, to be able to trade it, and then we can start the digification process. Uh, I think I'm going to put it about here. Here seems like a prominent spot. Hopefully it'll reach there and there. Uh, because I kind of want to do something a little crazy. Not gonna lie. I want to, and I think we will. Uh, we're just gonna need the emeralds to do so, because obviously haste is great. Allows for an amazing partnership of tools. However, you need one thing first before you can do that. And that thing is efficiency of five. If you don't have efficiency five, it doesn't work in the same regards. So, we're going to need enough emeralds to make our beacon base. And then we are also going to need enough emeralds to go ahead and buy ourselves a few of those delicious books. Because we can't do it without it. We want to be able to dice and slice through the ground at rapid speeds, and it's going to be freaking amazing. Uh, already, we're almost at the thing, uh, the amount that we need. So that is a very nice. Shouldn't take us too long. We just got to trade a little bit. And I think it is like 50-ish emeralds for one efficiency, which is a lot. I'm not going to lie, but... I think we can do it. It shouldn't take us too many Minecraft days, and we will be able to get there nice and quick. So, not going to worry about it at all. Just going to worry about getting what we need. We have to do a lot of digificating, okay? And we have to do that because I uh, decided to be a little bit crazy. This is our first base, and I uh, didn't really anticipate or expect it to be a crazy base. I thought it would be a nice, easy base to, to maneuver and grow and all of that fun stuff. Well, something has happened with <laughs> regards to that. Uh, I want to go a little bit overboard, and we're going to do that. We are going to do that. But we are going to need the emeraldes to do it. Uh, I really wish I just had... Do we have an unbreaking? No. Hmm. We need to get the unbreaking book, too. Uh, we don't have that. We do have our first efficiency. So let's just plop that in here. And uh, right there we go. Got our first efficiency five tool. Let's craft all of these into uh, those. Uh, that sh is enough, actually. And so we got the emeralds for it, at least to make the beacon base. We don't have enough yet to do uh, to get a few more efficiency books, but at least we can freaking start, right? And uh, that is, I think, the important step here. Uh, we need to set up a beacon base right freaking here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what you then have to do is just connect the two up in a perfect harmony and tandem there. And once you get a beacon, if you, you don't know, it allows you to fly through terrain like no other. And it is a really, a really great feeling, to be honest. You just get to rip through the earth at velocities that have never been seen before, man. And chicken. Alike. And uh, it's going to be great. 
Going to be freaking great. So it requires two stacks uh, and 36, if I am not mistaken, to make a, a full 100% beacon base. Sure, we'll do it like this. It's fine. And yeah, we have one to spare right there. Perfect. All right. So we're going to need more emeralds so that we can actually do more of this. Uh, we've decided that this is where the next layer is going to go. And we do have to, well, we do have to make that side a little bit bigger, which is fine. We can do that. Uh, can these guys refresh? They did. Perfect. I don't know if we're going to start the digification today. I kind of want to go and get the blocks that we need before we do that. Uh, and we'll see. Let's get all the emeralds that we need, though. Just kind of get this finally set up because it is it has taken us a long time to get to this point uh, Way way longer than I feel it should have and that's partly due to me but We'll get there You just gotta trust the process trust that I I don't really know what I'm doing per se But just you know just trust it right? the only way I can uh, explain it. We're going to need a few more emeralds to buy ourselves some diamond tools. As well as to buy us our enchanted books that we are also going to need. Which is uh, fine. We should probably run the duper right now because... Uh, we're going to run out of string very, very quickly here. Just because we are trading such absurd amounts here, we, we probably should just keep that running and get all the emeralds that we need. And I would like to get a few here before we start. Uh, yeah. The idea is to have at least... Mm, four or five, I would say. Efficiency five, unbreaking three pickaxes. Uh, you don't really need Silk Touch. You don't really need Fortune. It is an added bonus if you get it. But uh, not needed. So, we're going to do that. And we are also going to buy ourselves some more carrots. Because we're out at the moment. So, that's perfect. I know it cost us a little bit of emeralds. But, worth it. Hello, hello chicken. There's that. We got that. And uh, where's our books? Do we have any books? There they are. Beautiful. And that's all that we have here, right? And we got a little tiny bit more. Uh, we need unbreaking is what we really need here, I think. Uh, protection, respiration, we need to put that on there. Oh, there's our regen. I knew we had regen somewhere. I just, uh, didn't know where. Fair enough. Okay. Fair a freak enough. Let's swoos on up to the iron farm. Real nice and dainty-like. Beautiful. In there, please. Thank you. All right, so what do we need? Efficiency, right? Yeah, so we can get one and two. Uh, it's not much, but it is a start. Then we're going to need unbreaking. Do we have a man that does unbreaking? Probably not, right? Looting and silk touch. Oh, what do you have? Looting and silk touch. What do you have? Efficiency, what do you have? Infinity, it's not any of you. What do you have? Feather falling, what about you? Protection four. And what about you? Sharpness four. Okay, so no guy that sells unbreaking. Uh, we definitely need to get that going. 
Definitely need to get that going because otherwise it's going to be a real pain in the ass to craft all of these tools. Although we do have... Eh, no, we still need unbreaking. We still need it. Never mind. I was a heathen. I was wrong. It's fine. We're good. Let me have a sip of my beer. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> it's like Skittles. You taste the freaking rainbow. All right, so we need to trade a little bit more to get that, and we also need to get ourselves another lectern. Let's go up here once again, and we're going to try and re-roll until we get... Oh, I'm breaking, I was going to say. Uh, that was my bad. We should probably trade for some emeralds first, because we're going to need probably at least a stack. To get ourselves an unbreaking one. And let's just put that in here. Haste to Emerald Bayum. Bring it home the beacon and the beaconator. Yes. Oh, that is going to be super freaking sweet. I'm not going to demonstrate it yet. Uh, but we do have a lot of work to do on it. I really like this iron farm. It just keeps producing. It's, it's nice and easy. Uh, these guys should reset their trade any moment now. And then we can do what we need to do. Get ourselves some unbreaking books. Uh, it's going to be a challenge to get that for sure. I just know that we are not going to have good luck with regards to cycling for the trades and getting an unbreaking book. That's, I think, the last real book we need. Uh, other than, like, Respiration and Aqua Affinity and Death Strider. I think uh, anything else is just superfluous. We don't really need it. It's just a bonus, but you do need this stuff to make it so you can get all the things you need. Do need it. You need unbreaking, need efficiency, and I guess you need silk touch, but not really. But all of those things will really help dramatically with your progression, and that is great because that's what we're trying to do here. We've decided we want to do something ridiculous and do a base uh, a little bit on the uh, the thick side for what you'd call a starter base. That's fine. Uh, you know, we'll just have to put in the work, get the sand, get all the ingredients, do all the things. And little by little, surely, by surely, we will get that going. Uh, you haven't reset yet, neither of you, nor you. It is, this is one of the best things I've ever experienced. I've never played around with any dupe glitches or anything like that, but this is very, very convenient, let me tell you. When are you gonna, is going to refresh again? Soon, I hope. Refresh. Uh, yeah, see, we can get shovels really easy. I wonder if we can get an unbreaking. Oh, actually, we can't. We can get an unbreaking too. That'll work. That will work. Let's go to you, and we just need these. So let's buy as many as we can. All right, five is good. We can make what three with that. Or two, two with that. That'll work. And we can also get ourselves some more emeralds. This may be the easiest way, actually. Just simply using... Using an unbreaking three, two guy. We I know that we could get an efficiency and unbreaking guy if we really, really struggled for it, but... I think this is just easier, right? Just combine two unbreaking three picks plus efficiency five and bing, bang, boom. You got ourselves something good. Got ourselves a tool for the day. And that is really nice. Hello, lads. 
Have you reset? You have. Perfect. Free emeralds, free levels. It's all beautiful. And if we need to, we can always put mending on all of our things as well. Very, very easily. Which we will have to at some point, because we will need a way to repair all of our picks once we start blasting through them like Jimmy Neutron. Gonna, we're gonna need a way to heal them. And unfortunately, this is not the most efficient way of healing them, though it is a easy way. Uh, let's go ahead, combine a few. So we got boom, boom, boom. Plus boom, plus boom, equals boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, not the anvil. We don't have enough an uh, iron to replace that, do we? Oh, we do. We have exactly 31. That's beautiful. Oh, wonderful. All right, so we got that. And that makes that. So we got two picks ready, three picks ready to go, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, let's talk with this lad again. Four. Let's go with four, I guess. That'll work. That'll be sufficient for the moment. And we just got to fly up there, get ourselves one. Or, yeah, one more. And then we are good to go on at least tools. But I would like to do one final thing before we do that. And I know it's going to seem weird and all of that jazz, but we need to do it. Um, there we go. Got that. We need sandstone. Sandstone is the big thing that I want to use in this particular build. And without it, it's very hard to make my vision come to life. So we are going to have to fly around and seek out some. But as you can see, we have got four efficiency five tools now. And that is a great, great feeling. That's great right there. And that is also great. Perfect. All right, let's take all the gunpowder that we have, and I know it's not much, but it is, it's, it's some, right? And let's just rocketify as many as we can. Not many at all, but we'll get there. We have to build the farm, um, but we need, we need things to do so. So, which direction should we head? Potentially this way? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. We're going to fly for a little bit in just hopes that we can find a desert. Because we need a lot of sand, a lot of sandstone. Oh, delicious. I know that we encounter a lot of jungle over here. I know there's a dark oak and yada, yada, yada. But I don't believe I have come through this way. So... Should be fine. Let's keep going. I know I really need to update my Java. It is uh, it's trucking right now. I don't know why I've never had these issues with like rendering and stuff. Weird. Uh, let's just do like 12 maybe. Yeah, that feels a little bit better going at high speeds here. It was jerking me around too much, and I was not a fan of that, you know? Come through here, maybe chop out all of the acacia. I, I've always wanted to build in a jungle again, too. I think that would be really, really cool, but I don't know. Something about it that just sucks. The amount of leaves that you have to clear and... All of that. Like, you don't have to clear it, obviously, but it is way easier to uh, build it if you decide to do such a thing and clear it. As you can see here, we are seeing our, like, six savanna. Jesus. Why are there so many savannas? Uh, do we have unbreaking? Oh, we don't have unbreaking on that. 
Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem because this is going to, you can see the durability is going down rapidly. Ooh, that is something I did not consider because we were just buying the picks all willy nilly. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we forgot to get on breaking on the most important thing. So that's lovely. Also, we forgot to bring our chest plate, too. If we run into any danger, that could spell danger for us. That was a, a bad thing to say there. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, let's just kill some uh, animals real quick just to reclaim a little bit of experience. Try to heal up our elytra just a smidgen so we can continue on the journey. 315, huh? 315, eh? Whew. That was a gap there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need you for experience. I mean, I gained a little bit of experience. Let's go. Just please show me a desert. I've never struggled to find a desert as much as I have struggled in this world to find it. It's actually kind of crazy. Got a lot of mobs spawning, and that's fine, whatever. Another freaking jungle, dude? What is happening? I've seen savannas and jungles, and that's that's about it in this entire world here. It's kind of crazy. That looked cool. I've never seen that structure before, but it looked pretty cool. Uh-huh. Oh, look, another freaking jungle. Dude. Look how narrow this is. I like this jungle, actually. This looks really cool. It's like narrow and it's an island, which is something that, if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know that I freaking love. Ooh, what is that? That looks epic. That looks so cool. Uh, we're going to have to stop and kill some things, I think. Because, uh, yeah, we're a big dummy. We're big dummies. I feel like you can repair them with leather, but I am not 100% sure on that either. Hmm. We just go and have to walk back? No. Surely not, right? Uh, we can definitely repair it, do all of that jazz. Um, but yeah, let's actually. That's home. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, ciao.